Find no calculator on this section. Um, here's how it goes, okay? Logarithmic expressions. It says a log, you'll see a log button on your calculator, a log of base B of a positive number X is this, okay? So when you see log base B of X, it will equal Y if, here's what you gotta remember, b to the y power equals x. So basically what you're doing today is you are taking this number to this power and setting it equal to the x, okay? b to the y power will equal x. And the reverse of that is also true. So we're gonna do it both ways today. Um, so you should be able to rearrange in either direction. If I give you this, you should be able to give me that. If I give you this, you should be able to give me that, okay? Um, a log is just an inverse of an exponential function. So we've been talking inverses, right? Swap your x's and your y's. That's what a log is. It is the inverse. Are you really doing the wordle instead of taking notes right now? Take your notes. Um, so, Switching the X and the Y essentially is what's happening. Um, a log, when I ask you what is the log to evaluate the log, you're giving me the exponent. It's saying what is the exponent in this scenario, okay? So a log is always an exponent. I feel like people see logarithm and they're like, what? It's an exponent. That's all it is, okay? Um, all right, so let's take a look at this. You have 25 equals five, sorry, um, five squared, right? If we're gonna write that in the log form, okay? This is going to be, not that, log of base five of 25 equals, what do you think? The log is always the exponent, two, okay? Um, so your base, right? Um, your base of your exponent is your base, the bottom thing, the, the drop-down number with logs. So log base five of 25, okay? That's how you would say this, log base five of 25 is two. Okay, log base five of 25 is two. Jada, what was your question? Yeah. Um, okay, so look at the next one. It's the exact same format. What's up, Isaiah? Why are we writing like that? Like uh, you'll see, it's gonna, you're gonna be solving for some of these, so rearranging them the other way is actually usually easier to solve, depending on what the setup is. It's, there's one way that's easier to like solve for what that value is than other ways. Um, so you'll see as we get through, it'll be easier to come up with a value if you've rearranged it. Yeah. This right here yeah. is a five. Sorry, it's a five. Is that a better five? Okay, so look at letter B. Your base right now is what number? Base is always what you take your exponent to. Yes, so this is your base, okay? Um, so we're gonna say a log of base three of what number? 729. Okay, so log base three of 729 is Six, the exponent, okay? Now don't let letter C trip you up. The, yes, there are fractions, but we also switched where we put things, right? What is your base right now? The two thirds, we're taking that number to an exponent, right? So it's gonna be a log base two thirds of what? Of eight twenty-sevenths is your exponent is three, right? So this looks a little hairy. It's 
really three. Log base two thirds of eight twenty sevenths is three. Okay. Um, look at letter D. Log base what? Seven of of one is zero. Our exponent is zero. Okay. Um, so just remember, maybe you want to write this down when evaluating logs, our answer is the exponent. Okay, when you are evaluating logs, your answer is always going to be the exponent. Okay, so here it is. You may not use your calculator for this portion. I'm going to say evaluate this log. Sorry for the big gap. It's a new page. Um, here's what you should do with this every time. Okay. So we give you log base four of 16. You ask this question in your head. Okay. Four to what power? That's a B, not a P. To what power is 16? Okay. That should be the question you're asking yourself, or you can write it like this four to what power is 16, right? This number to what exponent will get me this number? That's the question every time. So four to what power gets you 16? Two. two. So your answer is that exponent, which is two. Okay. Look at letter B. So you're asking yourself the question three to what power equals 27. What is that? Three, right? Three to the third power is 27. Look at letter C. What's your answer? One. You're saying five to what power is equal to five? Five to the first power equals five. Okay, how are we doing so far? It's not bad, right? Two to what power is 16? Four. The fourth, two times two is four, times two is eight, times two is 16. Two to the fourth power is 16. What about E? It's tempting to think negative two but that would be one over 49, right? Seven to the one, sorry, one over negative two. Um, no, that's what I meant to say, one over 49. Um, seven to the negative power, negative second power would be one over 49 when you flip them, okay? Read that sentence up at the top again. A log of base B of a positive number is X. This is a log of base seven of a negative number. So when this number right here is negative, you're gonna say does not exist, okay? Can't take a log base B of a negative number and get a value, okay? So keep that in mind. Okay, here's where the negatives come into play. So now we've flipped something. We're saying five to what power is one over 25. What is that? Five to the negative second. Negative second power. Think about this, right? We did this, negative powers. Five to the negative second is one over five to the second power. Well, one over five to the second is one over 25. So your exponent is a negative two. So your exponent can be negative. This number cannot be negative. Okay, the exponent can be negative, the number out in front cannot be. Questions on that? Ooh, that's ugly. See, this is the, the Martha in me that wants to go fix this right now because those need to be indented and they're not. Um, all right, letter G here. You're saying, 
49 to what power equals 7? 1 half, right? Basically, we're saying the square root of 49. Well, a square root is the same as taking 49 to the 1 half power, right? That's the square root of 49. Um, so your 1 half will be your answer. And just be careful. It's tempting when you think of it like this, 49 to the 1 half equals 7. You're like, oh, my answer is 7. No, this was 7, right? Your answer is always, always, always the exponent, okay? When you're evaluating a log. Okay, this one looks a little bit different. There is no base here, okay? Now, here's the trick. When there is no base, it's always the same base. It's always a base 10, okay? So when there's no base written in, we assume a base 10, okay? Um, what would that be? Log base 10 of 100 is two, two right? 10 to the second power gets you 100, okay? So your answer is the exponent of two. All right, look at letter I. Log base 6 of 6 squared equals what? Two, right? You're saying 6, this 6, to what power equals 6 to the second power? Well, 6 squared equals 6 squared, right? So that would be a 2. Okay. Okay. Now we start to get a little fancier. Um, three to what power is one over 81? Negative four. Negative four, right? Three to the fourth power is 81. So if I wanna flip that over, then it's three to the negative fourth power is one over 81, okay? Just remember the negative is what flips it. So if it's one over something, it's gonna be a negative exponent. Okay, that's what flips it over. Okay, these last two, they're tough. Um, I want you to take a look at it, and I want you to make an attempt. And if you don't get it, it's okay, because I've not showed you how to get it, but I think some of you can get this. I think you can stop and think about what we've done, what we know, um, think back to the last chapter a little bit, and see if you can come up with what your answer should be. Here's your question that you're asking yourself. Nine to what power equals 27? Anyone think they got it? What'd you get? Nine to the three over two. To the three halves power. Okay, so now here's the deal. Ask yourself this question. Nine to what power equals 27? Well, nine to the second power is 81. We're too high. Okay, so it can't be a two. Can't be a number bigger than two, which means we got to go lower. So nine to the first power is nine. That's too low. So it's a number between one and two, right? we got to figure out what that number looks like. So if you think of it as, well, what is 9 to the 1 half power? 9 to the 1 half power is 3, right? Can I do something to that 3 to get to 27? Cube it. 3 to the third power is 27. So basically what we did is we took it to the 1 half power and we took it to the third power. You're just multiplying those together. One half and three, we're saying nine to the three halves power gets us 27, okay? My advice to you is always start with the root. Like take the square root, take the cube root, take the fourth root first to simplify it, and then you'll be able to square or cube or take it to the fourth power after that, okay? Then whatever you get for those two steps, you just multiply them together and that's your number. So what is this one going to be? 
you're saying 8 to what power equals 16? 8 squared is 64. That's too high. 8 to the first is 8. That's too low. So again, it's a number between 1 and 2, so it's going to be a fraction, okay? you got to figure out what that fraction is. So look at this number. Can you take a square root of 8? You can't, right? The square root of 8 is not a nice number. So it's not going to be 1 half. Can you take a cube root of 8? That you can, right? So if I take 8 to the 1 third power, I take the cube root of 8, I get 2. What do you have to do to a 2 to get to 16? 2 to the fourth, right? We'll get you to 16. 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16, okay? 2 to the fourth power will get you to 16. So you take those two powers and you just multiply them together. What's 1 third times 4? 4 thirds. Those are doozies, huh? Guys, yeah, stop and think through that a little bit. Um, questions on that? That's all we're doing today. Um.